What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here back with a video driven from raw curiosity. The new 2010 iPod Touch is so similar to the iPhone 4. It's got the same A4 processor. It's got the same retina display, same amount of RAM and the specs. Let's just keep going on and on. The main difference being its lack of a cellular radio. So I was just very curious to see if there's any sort of speed difference between the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch. So I'm going to put these two head to head in a few speed tests and see if we've got a winner. Alright, so both the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch are running the most current version of iOS, iOS 4.1, and both have no programs and no processes running in the background. I know Apple manages their uh, memory a bit differently, but I just wanted to show that both were clean, had nothing running in the background. Uh, both are, have the same wireless capabilities, 802.11n, are connected via the same router on the same Wi-Fi network. So this web page loading test should be pretty close. All the rest of these tests will be relatively unscientific. Just curious to see if we see which one is faster. So the pages that we're going to load are pages that have been viewed on both devices before. So consider this a test of sites that you visit on a regular basis. So we're going to go ahead and uh, load Safari. It's going to load Techno Buffalo first, and we'll see if we got a winner. Go ahead and end Safari at exactly the same time, or at least as close as I can get. There we go. And both are off. Uh, we've got the iPhone 4 on the left and the iPod Touch on the right. So Safari is loading pretty quickly on each. And for those of you who are wondering why I've got airplane mode on the iPhone 4, it's my daily phone. I don't like phone calls or text messaging to come in while I am filming. Uh, Techno Buffalo is a pretty graphics heavy page. Uh, so there's a lot of content to load here. It looks like we're almost done on each. iPhone 4 is still loading iPod Touch is still loading, and I should mention too that I've got a video uploading in the background on this network while I'm doing these tests, so it should affect both uh, at the same time in the same way. So the iPod Touch finished just a hair quicker. Uh, the iPhone 4 is still chugging along, or at least trying to chug along, and is now done. So the iPod Touch actually finished noticeably quicker. Uh, on that speed test. Let's go ahead and load a site like ESPN. It's going to load uh, the mobile page by default and see if there's any sort of difference here. I mentioned it's going to be an unscientific test. So right now we've got the iPod Touch being a bit quicker. There's ESPN. Oops. ESPN here as well. And we'll go to, let's go to the main ESPN site and see if we can see any sort of speed difference. Alright, so that's loading as well. And we are going to the mobile version first. And it looks like the iPod Touch very handily uh, beat the iPhone 4. Let's go ahead and go down to the bottom and it will give us an option to launch the full page. And ESPN is a very graphics and there's some video sort of embedded on there. So see if there's a speed difference here as well. And we'll open each up. Get that to say open. Do the same thing here. And we'll go ahead and hit open and see if that same speed difference holds true with the iPod Touch being a bit faster than the iPhone 4. So it looks like the iPhone 4 has got a bit of an early edge. So actually, they're showing stuff now almost exactly the same time. iPhone 4 may be just a little bit faster at this point. And we'll see how uh, this ends up. We well, can already start to see content. You can see pictures. You can see some of the articles sort of up in the upper right-hand corner. And both are still loading, and both appear to be loading them uh, relatively slowly. The content is still coming in. It looks like both are hung up at almost exactly the same place. Maybe there's some sort of content uh, on the website that is slow running uh, for mobile devices. So, and again, it looks like we're watching this uh, in stereo uh, happening at exactly the same time here. And it looks like maybe the iPhone 4 has got a bit of a speed edge. We can already go through and view the content on each. Go ahead and already start to scroll through and see what things look like. And the iPod Touch just finished. The iPhone 4 finished a little bit later. So there we go. The iPod Touch, a very long-winded test, does load web pages a little bit faster than the iPhone 4, even when the network is bogged down uh, with uploading. So you can see now, 
Let's go ahead and jump on in, do a few other tests. Let's see how it opens applications. So since both of these have the same processor and the same operating system, they also have the same applications. Let's go ahead and open some of the similar ones and see if there's any speed difference. Let's start with the App Store. Loading. So it opened up at exactly the same time. You saw those icons show up. I mean, really, you can see it one by one by one happening at exactly the same time. So really no difference uh, here with the App Store. Let's go ahead and open up something like iTunes and see if there's any difference there as well. So I'll go into my iApps folder and open up iTunes. So everything's showing up now pretty close to the same. Looks like maybe the iPhone 4 is a little bit faster here, uh, loading its content. You can also see that in iTunes on iOS 4.1, you've got ping. Uh, I'll show you that in a later video, but it's present on any of the uh, iDevices here to check out. Uh, so really in this very unscientific test of rock curiosity, really nothing got, uh, got answered with a great degree of certainty. Both loaded websites pretty similarly. Perhaps the iPod Touch was a little bit faster speed-wise uh, than the iPhone 4. It seems like the same hardware is going to yield same speed results. I was wondering if maybe the iPod Touch might be optimized a bit better since it doesn't have to do the same processes uh, that the iPhone 4 does, namely the phone calls and always be searching for network and things like that. Uh, but it appears that both are very, very similar. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this very, again, unscientific test. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel and the website for all kinds of upcoming tech news. All that information will be down below. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.